Let's talk about miniatures. I've been known to do some role playing. Hey, welcome back to Miniature Mashup. My name is Dave O'Gara. And uh, it's no surprise, I'm built a little bit like Shrek. In high school, my nickname was Ogre. I do have a soft spot for Ogres in Dungeons and Dragons. They're kind of a staple of a Dungeons and Dragons adventure. If you have played an entire campaign and never encountered Ogres, you are one of a very small minority. Let's talk about the history of Ogres in Dungeons and Dragons. In first and second edition, Ogres were the weakest four hit die monster. You see, in those editions, monsters were ranked uh, almost entirely by their hit dice as far as determining what their power levels were. Ogres were four hit dice, and most of the other four hit dice monsters had special breath weapon attacks or multi attacks, something that made them particularly dangerous. Ogres were just four hit dice and that was it. Just a lot of meat, pretty easily cut down. In third edition, they started getting really nasty because they got that size bonus, and uh, they also got combat feats, and you could add classes to them very easily. Uh, third edition really allowed DMs and 3.5 and even Pathfinder today allows DMs to make very, very nasty ogres. In 4th edition, who cares? In 5th edition, ogres are a little bit less difficult than in 3 and 3.5. It seems like they're taking a step back towards the 1st and 2nd edition idea of what an ogre should be. And that's okay. I sound like a goose who had cigarettes for breakfast. Still, I got the soundtrack gig somehow. In 2001, song was dumb. All in all, it seemed like harmless fun. But this shit sure sounds dated now. But Ogre Miniatures can run really high. Uh, Games Workshop, let's see what they've got. Their cheapest ogres I could find on the Games Workshop page are $8 a piece. And they get as high as $40 each. That's $40 for a single Ogre Miniature. Unless you're going to have an ogre-centered campaign. If ogres are going to be the only villains in your game, maybe you'll want to drop that kind of money, but if you're watching this channel, that probably doesn't appeal to you. If you've got 40 bucks, maybe take your loved one to Red Lobster, show her a good time, or him. Reaper does indeed make some Reaper Bones Ogres. There are three. There's one for 250 and two for 350 so for about 10 bucks, you can have three different models of Ogre. That's not bad at all, but if you want to get into some of their other Ogres, they go as high as $20. They're not super cheap. If you want a variety of models, you're going to have to pay a lot more money. Uh, Wizards of the Coast, of course, make some pre-painted ogres uh, on the second-hand market. If you're looking for them, they're about five bucks a pop, and they're not particularly good. So today, I'll be showing you Busta Caveman Toys by Timmy Toys. Uh, they're available on Amazon for about twelve bucks on the Prime, and they'll ship it to you. You get forty-eight figures, uh, but we'll see. Not all 48 make good ogres, but about a quarter of them do. So uh, for 12 bucks, 12 ogres. These three poses, and these are clearly some kind of Cro-Magnon man. Got Mr. Hatchet here, quite fond of this one. This guy throwing boulders overhead is pretty great. And this guy, who I'm pretty sure is on the Bedrock softball team, not my favorite. A little bit like a ball player. I was given this set which is really funny, by uh, two different viewers of Miniature Mashup. Uh, Robert Rudy of Virginia and Jim Andriasak, I hope I'm saying that name right, of Maryland. Jim actually sent me an entire box of stuff. I mean, there's many, many episodes of Miniature Mashup in here. Some of this stuff is very nice, uh, indeed. One of them sent me these the tan guys, and one of them sent me the red guys. Now, the box had four different poses. These are the three that I can't find any particular use for because while they are bigger than your typical 28 millimeter figure, they're not ogre bigger. I guess maybe they kind of are. So these, these, these guys tossing the rocks seem like they might be. If you want to use these guys for ogres, go right ahead. There's one other sculpt that came with this set. But I will break down what we did here uh, to convert these. Sorry you don't get to see them in red and tan naked. Um, except on the images I'll show you, which came off of Amazon. So every one of these guys has a machine screw, which I dremeled into the base of their foot and then screwed them down so they are on their bases rock solid. That's where I started. 
I primed them in gray, I undercoated them in dark and white to put the shadows in, a layer of um, raw sienna for the undercoat on the skin. We have various shades of brown. We converted all the weapons out with Dremel tools. Uh, this is the original sculpt. They just come with this sort of very basic looking club, as you can see. Um, all of them have the shield that I built. Um, the strap is a hot glue, hot glued on there. And the shield is a bead. I believe that's uh, Britannia on the shield, but it just looks like someone with a helm. You know, these shields are supposed to be stolen. Obviously, someone wearing skins and wielding a club uh, didn't, you know, doesn't have the, the craftsmanship to make their own. But you see, I put them all in cheetah skins. Well, you'll see the pictures. Uh, this weapon is stolen off of a Warhammer Fimrir, something I would never use. Uh, the spear is from a Warhammer skeleton on this guy. Hi. I'm the Fungin Master. You might have seen me on the YouTubes. I'm here to tell you about delicious, nutritious new Shrek cereal. Available from Mom Brands and your local stores. A healthy part of a balanced breakfast. Of course, one must exercise restraint when eating Shrek Ogre O's. <coughs> These, uh, both of these hatchet blades came off of a Dream Blade miniature who had uh, these hatchets for hands, making him very goofy indeed, so I chopped them off and actually gave him hands. And I kept the blades, and I'm glad I did, because I think they look quite nice on these figures. They really don't look human. They, they've got, they, these are clearly Neanderthal men, and uh, that's sort of what ogres are, aren't they? Especially if you mess with the scale and make them quite a bit bigger than people. In the Timmy set, you would get a dozen of these. I would imagine, since you get 48 of these, um, probably maybe a little less because they're bigger, probably about 10 of these for 12 bucks or maybe a dozen. I can't say because I didn't buy the set. Uh, I was just sent a total of five and I converted them. But these are probably your cheapest, best options for ogres. Thanks for tuning in to another miniature mashup.